So this question is from Reese Colling. It says, what's happened with this YouTube master slash YouTube open? Not heard anything about it for ages. And we've seen that comment a lot, Rick. So could you give us a bit more insight and let the audience know what is happening with this YouTube masters? I'm waiting for tonight. There'll be a Nate Edwardson video, inevitably about this topic as well. So give us that content, Rick. So the, the, the grand plan, Again, going back to 2019 was the first ever YouTube golf day. The flag behind guy there where we had loads of creators from all around the globe, YouTube creators in the world of golf coming to Formby Hall and we ran the YouTube golf day. And the plan each and every year after that was to run a YouTube golf day. Mm -hmm. 2020, COVID hit. We could not run the YouTube golf day as originally planned. And there was conversations around maybe doing it one year in the UK, next year in the US, UK, US, etc. Obviously, I'm from the UK, a lot of my audience from the US, a lot of creators now are now in the US. So fast forward a few years, obviously COVID now has passed and genuinely a goal for this year was to create a new YouTube golf event, mm. YouTube major, YouTube masters, YouTube open, whatever it's going to be called. And Inevitably, I wanted to have the biggest creators in the world of golf to be at said event. Now, this year, because of logistical reasons, I wanted it to be in the UK. So we started to talk to golf courses who could have the capacity to holding, not sure of a of a tour event type event. Well, realistically now, let's be honest, if we had it in the UK, and let's just put a pin in the middle of the UK, around the Belfry area, middle of middle of UK, which is easy to get to, great infrastructure. How many people would come, Jurassic? That's what I mean. So we wa we wanted to, to have a ticketed event where people would pay for tickets to come and watch live. We wanted the biggest creators from around the world of in golf. So a lot of the guys from the US, a lot of the guys from the UK, all in one area, one site. And the biggest hurdle, and I didn't realize this at the time, and we it's something we didn't do for the YouTube golf day back in 2019, probably for the same reasons. We wanted to live stream it on YouTube. And this is really important. That was so important because we understand if we had a ticketed event, we'd like to think we were aiming for a couple of tens of thousands of fans turning up, maybe 20,000 fans turning up to the ticket event. However, with the fact that we wanted to, that's only a, when you think about 20,000 people in the grand scheme of even just my channel for argument's sake, 2.7 million, it's a very small amount of people -ish. yeah, that can actually attend live. So we desperately, desperately wanted to put it on live on YouTube. This is where the hiccups that I, to be honest, I possibly overlooked started to kick in place. If you were to live stream a darts match, mm -hmm. for argument's sake, yep. how easy is that? You five or six cameras. If that, yeah. two cameras you could live stream. You could you could live stream a darts match, a professional darts match with two to three cameras. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty easy. It's stationary. You don't have to move. The cameras are fixed. Off you go, live, you're running. With a golf event, the same challenges that the PJ Tour encounter, the EP World Tour live encounter, is you've got to cover a huge area. 18 holes of golf where really you're going to need two to three cameras on every single hole. Yeah. That's like 54, just for argument's sake, cameras and cameramen and crew with all that cable and all that wiring to get it back, whatever it may be. I just didn't potentially factor that in. So once we started to look at the possibilities of that, that once we started to look at the costings of that, we also started to reach out to creators. So Good Good, Bob Does Sports, a few other guys to say, listen, we are we have got this idea in the pipeline. We want to do it in the UK in autumn time. It would have, it would have, the original plan would have happened by now. Mm. Um, are you involved? We'd love to get you, love to get you in it. And then either schedules are clashing or whatever it may be. And obviously I still didn't have the definitive bang. This is where it's happening. This is what's happening. I've got the live stream sorted, et cetera, et cetera. So it had to go on hold. It had to be put back on the, on the, on the to-do list until we got to a solution. Now we talked to YouTube themselves loads. Uh, YouTube, I've got a great partner manager and we talked to him loads about how can we actually do this? They've come up come back with some incredible ideas, whether it's funded from sponsors, whoever, it, not manufacturers such, but sponsors, etc. cetera. Um, so at the moment, it is still going to happen. It's not going to happen this year. It's going to happen in 2023. 2024. 2024. We're looking to tie it in with potentially a tour venue already mm -hmm. and maybe piggyback off 
the tour venue itself. So I don't want to use any names just in case. The week there. after a tour event, a venue. Let, let's say it's not going to happen. Let's say, let's say. Augusta is the best example. Augusta the Masters, right? All the, all the camera there, all the infrastructure's there. The couple of days straight after Augusta National, for argument's sake, straight after the Masters, bang, we've got the YouTube Golf Masters. That could be a thing in five years, who knows? I mean, <laughs> if you, if Augusta are listening. Which they do. Augusta, <laughs> let's sort this out, all right? You know it makes sense. So, so that currently is the plan. In that time period, I've also had lots of conversations with Good Good around about how we could potentially create a joint event. That's all I'll say at the moment because I don't want to speak on their behalf, but the conversations that I've been having is how can myself and Good Good have a joint event where it might be we hire the same venue for a week, argument's sake. I have a couple of days for the YouTube major. They have a couple of days for their own tournament, but it's uh, the, the the costings are split between the two channels. Yeah, That's what's currently happening. I'd love to give you a definitive date. It is now starting to look more likely to happen in the US in 2024. But believe me, if you're from the UK, Europe, et cetera, looking to bring it back to the UK in 2025. I wonder if, if we then put in work, we've not even discussed this yet, when I make the podcast, I might have to cut it out. If we could have a massive giveaway for like two fans from the UK to come. So like we could actually put that people up potentially. Definitely. So, you know, even if you are a massive fan and you can't make it, we can get a couple of people out there. Yeah, I think, you know, again, this is why I'm so desperate to live stream it. Yeah. I don't want anybody to miss out. I know, I know we did the live podcast recently. We didn't, we didn't record it, but that was kind of more of an intimate, like more like a show. Yeah. This, this event, certainly my idea of a YouTube major is to have the biggest names creators at one venue, fill it with fan spectators, have a really cool festival style event where there's there's good entertainment on there's places where you can go and buy your favorite creators merch there's places where you can go and meet your favorite creators we have a big barbecue and a bit of a a bit of a i was gonna say a disco <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a concert after you know taking it taking the best bits of what current this jacket's quite i'm gonna take this jacket off it's getting serious now it was getting a bit crumply um for me it's like taking the best of what traditional golf does um whether that's stroke play event similar to what pj tour does but sprinkling a bit of like the concert and the fun element of what liv has brought to the party um just, just kind of having a, an event which I, I would argue might be the most watched golf event in the world on youtube live streamed i think it's got a chance yeah so it's there it's not quite there there it costs a bloody lot of money. So if you'd like to donate, <laughs> if you'd like to chip chip in and and because I mean when I talk about a lot of money, like to, to live stream one day at a golf course, I mean we're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. That was a good whistle, actually, for me. You do it. That's better, but so so it's 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 not it's not yeah. money you find down the back of the sofa. No, I think as well, what what another kind of small, not hurdle, but something you'd have to think about, which we are doing as well, is what does it look like? Because obviously you want to know who's the best golfer on YouTube. Maybe excluding Bryce, because he's obviously, he's a tour pro, but like who's the best golfer? Who would win in that you know, 18 holes? It could be handicapped. Play? Well, it could be handicapped or... Like Bryson can start off like... He can be plus seven. He can yeah, be seven, seven over. over. For, for arguments What sake. would you start then? You well, and Grant. Apparently I'm playing after the front tees, <laughs> are By next year, think how good you could be. That's what I mean. Or will you have quit practicing? No. No. I've got, honestly, really got hungry for it at the moment. 